fault since I made the last video. The roof actually lasted. It worked great for a couple of weeks. Unfortunately, I got this yesterday. You can see that the problem came back. Now, the last time I fixed this, I used just a uh, just some pressure on the locking me mechanism to put the cable back in place. However, today, after reading and uh, looking for information, we're going to be using JB Weld to chemically bond the two pieces together. Um, and this stuff is really good. Um, it's only six dollars at Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay. Let's get started with the complete disassembly and breakdown and repair of the... So the first thing that we're going to do is disengage the latches and open up the relief valve as per the manual. So we'll just take the latches, open that up so you can open up the back of the convertible top. Uh, might as well just take out the... so you get easier access to this side. So right over here you expose this panel and if we can look it's this screw here needs to be turned this screw here needs to be turned one and a half times counterclockwise. So we just put a screw in, uh, screwdriver in place and we turn it. That's one half, one and one and one half and that's it and we're done with the trunk okay this is what the locking mechanism looks like when it's opened okay as you can see on this side the locking mechanism stayed closed that's the problem so we're going to go ahead and fix that with some jb weld So I've already gone ahead and removed the cover. So now we have one, two, three bolts that we have to remove. The first thing I have to do is take the power off. And this is always a little tricky because you don't want to break the tabs on the sides. There we go. So once the power is disengaged, we can remove the three bolts. I'm actually going to you need two hands, one to hold the motor because it's a little heavy, and then one to remove the bolts. Once all that is in place, I like to put it, the motor and the bolts into the cover in the back seat. Okay, so once the motor is removed, uh, the next thing I like to do is take off, there's this one screw in the first, in the first arm section, about halfway, there's a there's a hex bolt that holds this top piece of plastic on. I like taking it off now, just getting it out of the way, so I'm not fishing for it later. So we'll just get our screwdriver in there. Let's see that. a small screw See. and then we're just going to place it on the floor so we know where it belongs later and same thing on this side Now after that's done, you notice that this plastic piece is now loose. So, what we're going to accomplish next is manual diseng manually disengaging the latches. So again, from the last video, just take our screwdriver, put it in between the bolt here and the arm, and just give it a nice 
little tug just like that. Disengage it. Go on the other side. Same thing. And disengage that as well. Now we can lift the roof. Here, let me go to the outside and show you that. So now that we have it, we can now lift the roof on both sides. And again, from the last video, <clears throat> we need to disengage <clears throat> this lock right here to open up the second portion of the sunroof. So we just, as you can see, it's disengaged. And we're gonna go to the other side, and repeat the same process. And there we go. And now it's disengaged on both sides. So what we can do at this point is lift the entire roof open. Voila. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and remove all these clips so we can pull the, the top open a little bit so we can get to the screws to remove this piece of metal here. Now, to remove this section here, these are just tabs. Can get underneath this, get a better view. These are just tabs that you want to lift. Actually, some of these you can do by hand. You can actually do this with one hand holding this. So, the objective is to push this little tab here up. And while you're pulling it up, you want to pull it forward with your other hand, and you want to disengage all of these. Okay, so once we have the top up, open and all the tabs were opened, we're going to close the lock. And if you can see closely, I'm not sure if you can see, there's a black tab that's right here. A black plastic tab and we need to push that back and when we push that back into it actually is going to disengage the lock so we can open up the top here okay and as you can see just by pushing it in you disengage you can feel when you disengage the mechanism and as you can tell I just was able to open it up so now this could slide back and there's enough slack be able to take the top off. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And the other side might be a little bit more tricky because the cable is still attached. And one of the things I didn't think about while the motor was on is to open this up. But we're going to try doing it this way. So with the lock closed, just take our screwdriver and push it in here. I'm going to put this. One thing that helps is while you're pushing, you hold, hold on with your other hand here to get some leverage. As you can see, I now have this open. Now one of the things that you may have to do, actually to think about while the motor is on, as you open up the sunroof and one side opens and the other side doesn't, at least what that does, it takes the cable and pulls it back so you have a little bit more slack to work with when disengaging these. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go and take your screwdriver and manually get into the into the grooves on the cables and pull them out of the way, which, I, which is what I just had to do. Now, this back one is for the right side. The, the top one, the front one, is towards the left side of the, the left latch. So the rear, is the right latch, the front is the left latch. Now that I've pulled the top back, I can actually 
these things clip on again. Right. You can actually go and remove this. Here, let me put this down again. Okay, so I have enough slack here so we can just lift it out. Lift all these tabs out and you can see it. It just opens up. And once it's open, we now have enough slack to pull this up and out of the way. I'm going to put this down for a second again. Let me show you on the left side. Right. This little cable right here. You can take that out. It may have some tape on it. Oops. It's opening up. And once you take them off on both sides, you can now pull this forward and lift the whole convertible portion up. Let's see if I can get that set up to show you. Probably not. 